Morning, everybody. Jacob with Scooters Lawn Care. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about you know starting your business and the stress that comes with that. I had a great question. I, I wrote out a long answer, and then I just decided I would make a video for Billy Goat. Um, he said, "I can't stop thinking about tomorrow, next week, next month. Will I have enough money?" Um, <clears throat> what else was it uh, to add to his winter fund? He said, "This is his first full year, so so far the more is coming in than is going out." And he said, is there a point where you can sleep at night knowing that you have enough in your savings? And uh, I love this question because when we first started, you know, and I left a full-time job that had benefits and, and, you know, everybody makes a big deal out of benefits, which benefits are only money. So if you make enough, you can give yourself benefits. Uh, it's the most irrelevant argument I've ever heard. Um, and I know a lot of people are probably going to argue with me, but that's just my opinion and that's so, so each to each their own, but, um, <clears throat> so I kind of itemize this and things, you know, that we could talk about. So saving for winter, I just talked about the, in managing, you know, managing your money about how to allot some money, make buckets. So you're always consistently doing that. Uh, if you don't have enough money where you can do that and maybe have a bucket towards taxes, your prices might be too low. You might not be charging enough to, to keep moving forward. And that would be a good sign that your prices need to increase. Um, so that's kind of the first thing. Um, then there's, you know, having enough money for your cash flow to keep the business rolling. And that's, that's the same thing. You know, if you see that with, with a book like Profit First, if it doesn't work where you've got enough money to, to split it, that's a really good sign that, hey, um, either we're spending too much money on expenses that we really don't need or we aren't charging enough in general and and then that can cause that can cause a lot of issues that can cause you not to be able to put back that can cause you to not have enough money to keep the ball rolling especially once you get employees um, also another thing once you get employees really a huge advocate a credit card on file for everything charge when you're finished with work um, all of our mowing we anything we do on a week it gets billed out the following Monday just to keep that money coming in the door because you've got to have the money to keep moving forward all our projects it doesn't matter if it's a thousand, anything over a thousand um, all the way up to whatever you know it's half down you know once we start doing big enough projects we'll probably start doing draws where we do a a third, a third, a third, or a quarter, a quarter, a quarter as the project moves forward. But um, as of right now, we're just doing half down and half on completion. And you need to make sure that this is known up front so that money can keep coming in the door. Um, and then, then the last thing that this all kind of ties into is, you know, is there a time, like yes, is there a time where that you've saved enough, you've got enough in savings where you can sleep at night? Well, um, to me, being in business is about taking some risks and, you know, the huge thing that I've heard and I've read, you know, you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Um, it's not comfortable to go out and do something you've never done before. But if you, if this is your um, comfort zone right here and you ever want to be anything more than you are, well, you need to be out here. And then as you spend more time there, now it's here. And, and then that just keeps happening. So. Billy Goat asked about this, and it, it was just perfect question for me because I remember the first year when I left my job and all these things that I thought was such a big deal and I was so stressed over. And now, that would all been easy. That all looks like little things, and that's that's why business is so great. If you're in business for yourself and you've got past this, you know you that time that was really stressful when you started. You'll never go through that again. Doesn't matter if you start another business. Yeah, it'll be stressful, but you'll know how to deal with that kind of stuff. And um, that's what I really love about being in business. And as far as you know, getting the comfort and savings to sleep at night. As your business grows, there's more expenses. You take more risks. You have more liability, and it's all about who you really want to be. You know, um, you need to make sure. Uh, Johnny Mo just had an amazing video. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch Johnny Mo's video about grinding your life away. You need to make sure that that's not what you're doing, that you're not just spending every waking moment in this business uh, neglecting your family and neglecting other things that are, are more important because he said it perfect. I mean, life is not about the life's about on, on your tombstone. It's about that dash in that center, and you don't want that dash in that center to be constantly avoiding other people so you can be on a rat wheel trying to make things the way you want it so 
that rat wheel syndrome that he spoke of, I really truly feel like that's all about who you want to be and what you want. So, um, you know, for me, I wanted a bigger business and I realized that and I, and I take the, I'm taking the steps to try to eliminate being on the rat wheel. You know, I'm trying to not work on weekends. I try to get off at five, you know, every day. And we keep trying to, like I, like I told Billy Goat, as you grow, you know, you either spread the load and, and spread it out to other people so you don't have to do everything and you can start planning instead of working out in the field. Or if you try to work out in the field 24 seven with your guys, that's where I feel like you know, you could end up busting under the pressure and then you feel like for sure that you're hundred percent on a rat wheel. And, and that's just my take. Maybe I'll feel like, maybe I'll have a different feeling in, in 10 years. I don't know. But, um, super important to, I, I'm just rambling at this point, but the, the, the sleeping at night, you know, that's all about growing that comfort zone and, and getting comfortable with these stresses and, and knowing that some stress comes with business. And as you step outside of that comfort zone, your comfort zone grows, then you learn more. But like I mentioned in the, the writing I wrote to Billy Goat is you have to have a plan to keep moving forward. And as you're planning to move forward, you get, you get to a challenge and you knock it down. And then there's a bigger challenge and you knock it down and you start to realize that, you know, if you have the, if you have the right, thought process and you you go about things right and you stay focused on the right things you start kind of seeing that well you know stuff normally works its way out you know i i get to it we we figure it out and we move forward and that's been my main comfort is realizing that it seems like we have a solid plan and for one thing i'm not going to let anything get me down nothing's going to stop me i want what i want and that just is what it is and you start getting more comfortable because you realize that you get through these things and, and it's all fine and and you know maybe that's not the way it is for everybody maybe some people it completely knocks them down and it stops them but from my take we had a good plan we ran into a problem we worked through it and we kept growing because of it so i hope this helps i i know that the beginning of business is stressful i would love to say that it ever got a lot better but it's more like you grow into understanding how what that stress means and, and and you realize that that stress is a lot of times not as bad as it should be and probably 75 to 80 something percent of it is is just fear and a lot of times fear is false expectations appearing real so you up, expect the worst things to happen and it's just your mind like trying to protect yourself from these things that could happen that in reality who knows? You're, you're taking a risk being in business. Don't ever let anybody tell you you're not. It's a huge risk. But with risk comes reward. And if you're the type of person that is wanting that and is willing to do that, you know, that's, I think it's a good move. So, Billy Goat, I hope this answered some more questions. It did definitely say for the, the sleeping at night, you know, there's there's not a whole lot answering that except just growing, you know, growing your comfort zone and you'll feel better. I do know that we've we've grown a lot and I sleep great every night. Do I wake up stressed out sometimes? A little bit, but you know, at the end of the day, it all gets done and we keep moving forward. Um, just make sure your prices are right and you're not losing money when you're out there doing jobs. That is one thing that will probably put you in an early grave is if you're out there doing cheap work and you're losing money on every job, it'll put you in early grave. You just, you'll be stressed out all the time. One other thing I did find out, we had guys work until six, seven at night because we were so slammed in the spring and we actually overstaffed ourselves to compensate for that. And now the guys are getting in at 4.30, 3.40, you know, and five o'clock. And I have never eliminated more stress in my life than when we did that. And uh, so, so far that's been working out great for us. If anybody has any more questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe. I'm always trying to, you know, at least give what we've kind of went through if that helps and if anybody has any information for us that's awesome like and subscribe everybody have a great weekend bye